showing you guys how to create a river and an ocean. So, excuse me if I have a uh, stuffy nose. This is a little under the weather. Uh, not really under the weather, but have allergies. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to append underwater, which is the blend file I would give you guys. And under node tree, I'm going to import water. Water green, that works. And also dust. And you're going to want Pro Lighting Skies, by the way. Um, the demo for that works really well. This is just an idea to get your uh, water looking good. If you don't have the Pro Lighting Skies, it doesn't look that great. Um, or it, it, you don't have to have Pro Lighting Skies, but you do have to have at least a Skybox or an HDR um, or a JPEG. Alright, so we're going to create a holder for our river first. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to create the nature. This is basically a tutorial on just how to do the water. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a pit for this, or a river. And I'm going to make it really deep. Like, really deep. So I want to show you guys how to create the dust toots where you can't see all the way down there. Alright, now I'm going to create a cylinder, or actually a lot of cylinders here. Alright. Alright, so that's our pit of uh, circles, cylinders, sorry. All right, and we'll move these up and basically create a, a log and something that sticks to the wall there. Okay, and that works fine. All right, so we're gonna create a plane now, and we're gonna give this m the modifier of ocean. We're gonna sc scale it down to change the size to zero point. Let's just do two. And then we can right, raise the uh, scale here. And we just click, click it in until it's about the size you want. There we go. And then we move it up. And that's about good. Alright. And the choppiness will keep it that way. And then the scale the size. I guess that works. And the resolution needs to be higher. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Now we need to change this to cycles render. If we don't do that, uh, it's already there. That's good. If we don't do that, then it's not gonna not gonna work. You have this guy new material. This is gonna be our river. It's not a river. It's more like a pond. But if you want to make it a river, it works fine. Okay. So now if we go under the node editor, delete the diffuse. Add a group of the water. You can change this. Uh, that works. And just basically pull the top shader on the surface. And basically, all these factors here, I'll tell you what they do. This color is the first main color. So basically, it mixes these two colors here together. Um, by uh, using a noise factor, which is right here. So these two are basically, one. some of it is this color and some of it is that color, and you can change how much of each color by this scale factor here. This color is basically the same thing, except with this one down here and the water shader itself, so this is more like dust down here. Or, uh, sorry, in the middle. And the factor here is basically how translucent is it, so how thick is the water. Alright, so that's what that is. I'll show you uh, the setup here. It is a little crazy. This is the group. If you want to edit it, click tab, by the way. So you select it, click tab, and that is my group. I'm going to take a picture of that to make it yourself. You can. I'll also put the finished blend file in the description, and also the, um, the, the groups in the descri description. Alright, so that's the water. Now, right away, if we went to render this, 
we will see that we don't have the sky enabled, so of course it's going to look gross. So if I click use nodes and just created a white sky and rendered it, it would look pretty bad. It's very solid and just like looks like a bunch of algae it's just is collected in one place. So that is why you have to use an HDR. Um, ProLining Skies works really well, so that's why I said that in the beginning. Alright, so now this looks a lot better. We are actually reflecting something. And we should be able to see, um, depending on the position of our camera, we should be able to see a, uh, cylinder in there somewhere down deep all right actually let's uh let's change the position on this camera it's a kind of bad position all right that's probably best right there actually we need to be able to see the bottom so we'll do a top down all right so rendering it from the top down it also depends on your model, by the way, so if yours doesn't look good, it's probably because your model. Like, this one doesn't look as good as the last one because the model is more bumpy. Looking down, we can't see anything because the model looks alright, so... If we escape this, go back to our ocean, change the scale... Well, I guess the scale is fine. Choppiness, and then also the resolution needs to go down a good bit here. Alright, so that's probably going to look a good bit better. Alright. Um. Looks like it's a bit too deep to see any of the, uh, the stuff because there's no lights down there. So let's go and create a light down there. There is lights in the water, by the way. A lot, like fish and stuff. All right? And we'll make this light pretty bright. So, there we go. And now we should actually be able to see deep under the water there if we, uh... Yeah. We can kind of see it down there. It's a little interesting. Now let's delete that light because it makes the water look a little strange. Alright. Now let's position this camera to be about there. And now if we render it, we would be able to see the full reflection of this. There we go. So that's what the water looks like. Um, the reason it looked flat before was because we weren't seeing the sides, we were just really seeing the middle. So all the reflection wasn't there, and uh, we couldn't really see anything. Alright, so that is, that's good there. Now, if you want to, you can create the dust. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So basically, add a cube. <clears throat> and if you want to, you can, you can uh, create a little... Make it a little fancy by uh, sculpting it and uh, changing it up a little bit. Alright, so basically, you just add a new material, call it dust, and in the node editor here, delete this, go to your group, add dust, drag it in, and basically, if you want to see that node set up, it's just that basically. There you go. And the color here is basically color the dust, how much noise is in the dust, and then this color we want to change to be gray. Actually, a white white works good. White makes it more transparent. All right, so that is the dust. Um, now, if you rendered it, you'd kind of be able to see. Uh, you wouldn't be able to see too deep, but uh, you'd be able to at least see a little deep. Alright, so let me, uh... Look. Right, so let me sculpt this out. Just doing a little bit of stuff to make it look better here. Alright, so now if we rendered it, we wouldn't actually be able to see it because of our angle of the camera. 
this is the dust, so if we rendered it now, we kind of be able to see what's what the dust looks like here. It's hard to see underwater because it is dust, and uh, you're not really supposed to see that much of it. It's just going to stop your vision. As you can see, we have less vision underwater now. As you can see, that that kind of looks like a little bit of the dust there. So, yeah. That is the river part of this tutorial. Now, let's move on to the ocean part. Alright, time for the ocean part. This is basically the same thing as before, but this time, a uh, little bit, uh, a little bit different. So, different colors, different, pretty much everything. So, same thing. Append just the water. Um, I called it water green, unfortunately. So, I'll change that when I give it to you guys. Alright, so add a plane, same thing as before. Ocean and resolution needs to be pretty high for the ocean. And then the scale of this stuff can. That's good. Alignment, we can change the depth. And uh, spatial size, let's just change that. All right, that works. All right, so we'll just throw this camera in somewhere on it. It's actually really big, so if we scale this down. All right, so let's change our field of view too. Alright, and uh, we can create reflections in the water if we want to, but right now we're not going to. Okay, so, we create a new material. Of course, you have to do this in Cycles Render. Ocean. Ocean. Alright, so same thing as before. Node Editor. Delete the Diffuse. Add the water. Alright, so now what we're going to do is change the color of this, so white. Gray. And then, tinted blue. And, that should work just fine if we actually pull the shader into the surface. Okay, so... If we render this, of course it'll look terrible because we don't have pool lighting skies turned on. Okay, render it. And of course it's not going to look good because the way our, uh, our material works here is it's, as you saw, it's darker so we need to make it lighter. Some of this is actually just a Kind of guessing what's going to look very, very good and what's going to look really, really bad. Alright, so let's, uh... Yep, that looks pretty bad there. So, you can also edit a lot of this stuff out. So, if you want to, we can change the scale of this to zero. Some of this to zero, anyway. And then render it. So, basically, we don't have a scale there. And we'll change the second one to zero two. And of course, it doesn't look very good at all because we are it's white, so we'll change it to dark grayish, dark blue here. There we go. That's about what what we want there. And we don't want the factor to be anything, so we'll change that all the way down. And it's a very, let's just say, uh, strong ocean. So uh, somebody like somebody poured a uh, blue dye in the ocean is what it kind of looks like now. If you want that, you I guess you can have it. But there it is. But I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna want that. I just want a little bit lighter, a little bit less color to it. Alright. Much better. Yes, yeah, much, much better. 
Okay, so let's uh, change these colors to be a little bit darker. Especially the middle color. And we'll render that. And that is the ocean right there, pretty much. Yep. So I'm going to wait for this to render, and then I'll be back. And there it is, the finished ocean render. It looks really well. It, not really well, really good. Um, we can see that we have reflections. Um, kind of changes the color of it. Basically, you might also think, wow, that looks really flat. But it's actually not, because... Uh, the way we have it is we just have an ocean, and uh, we need land, or really a good bit of land around it. So yeah, that is how to create an ocean and a river. If you guys want to change the colors or anything like that, that is fine with me. You can do any of that. Edit the materials, anything. If you also want to uh, make them better and then post them online, that is also fine with me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.